From NBC News in Washington, this is Meet the Press with David Gregory. Chair of the President's Council of Economic Advisors, Dr. Christina Romer. Welcome to Meet the Press. Great nice, to be here. Nice to have you here. Billionaire investor Warren Buffett described the economy uh, and the crisis that the economy is in as an economic war. If that's the case, are we winning? Uh, I think he's absolutely right. It is an economic war. So absolutely, it is uh, something we need to deal with. I think we are. We haven't won yet. Uh, we have staged a wonderful battle. So we have put in place just a host of programs, the stimulus package, the financial rescue plan, the housing plan. Uh, we think it's the right medicine, and we think it will work. There's an effort across the administration to sound more confident about the economy. The president speaking on Friday said this. If we are keeping focused on all the fundamentally sound aspects of our economy, then we're going to get through this. And I'm very confident about that. And yet, last year during the campaign, Senator John McCain said something similar. This is what he said back then. You know that there's been tremendous turmoil in our financial markets and Wall Street. And it is, it's, um, people are frightened by these events. Our economy, I think, still, the fundamentals are, of our economy are strong, but these are very, very difficult times. So back then during the campaign when Senator McCain talked about the strong fundamentals of the economy, it was then-candidate Obama and his team that roundly criticized McCain, saying he was out of touch. He didn't get it. He didn't understand how bad the economy was. And yet now the president's talking about the strong fundamentals of the economy. So what's different between then, the campaign, and now, except for the fact that the economy's gotten dramatically worse? Well, so, well, so, that we've always said we're not looking at the ups and downs of the stock market. That's the kind of thing that certainly that I'm looking at in terms of when's the economy going to be doing better and, and when can we see some hope. Are the fundamentals of this economy sound? Well, of course the fundamentals are sound. We're in a mess, right? We've seen huge job loss. The president's economic team has come under some criticism, namely Treasury Secretary Geithner, uh, for not install, instilling a great deal of confidence with regard to plans to shore up the financial system. And one of those areas focuses on something that you would think would be simple, but apparently it's not. And that's staffing the Treasury Department. This is how the AP reports on it uh, on March 5th. Um, critics say part of the problem is that Geithner is flying solo. Not one of his top 17 deputies has been confirmed. And without senior leadership, lower level Treasury employees can't make decisions or represent the government in crucial conversations with banks and others. If you go to Treasury's website, your own website, under the heading of senior Treasury officials, there's one name on there, Tim Geithner, the Treasury Secretary. If this is an economic war, isn't this akin to going to war without an army? So I think we need to be clear that there are certainly people there. He has brought in people. Uh, they're obviously not, not uh, a large number of them are confirmed. Numbers What's the I've historical parallel where you don't have any of your top people that you've uh, nominated in the Treasury Department serving during the biggest economic crisis since the Great Depression? I mean, you're absolutely right that this, this is a very serious crisis, and we certainly you know, need all hands on deck. Um, the Treasury Secretary is working as hard as he can to get those people into place. Is part of the problem that the administration or, or the more political advisors in the administration don't want people from Wall Street, don't want people who are experienced because they think they're tainted? No, of course not. What's the problem? Where are they? Uh, you just had four people withdraw their nomination, including, uh, including uh, uh, Raj Cohen, who is one of the most senior people on Wall Street as a lawyer with Sullivan and Cromwell, who's advised all of these, uh, all of these banks, and now he's pulled out. Uh, I think one thing to realize that, that the Obama administration is doing business in a different way, and we do have very strict rules on, uh, you know, sort of uh, the the kinds of uh, vetting requirements and whether you can have been a lobbyist and things like that. And it does tie your hands on some of the people you can hire, but we think the the administration has made the decision. It's worth it to have honesty and accountability. Most economists believe that until the financial system is shored up, until these distressed assets are removed from these banks' balance sheets, stimulus won't work and the economy won't recover. And yet, the administration has yet to provide a detailed blueprint about how they're going to remove these assets. What's taking so long and what is the plan? Well, so... Well, so... Pretty strong prediction. What if you're wrong? What's plan B? Well, so, one thing, I mean... Well, so, well, so, 
When we get through this, coming back to a healthier economy, and not an economy fed by bubble and then where we have the bust, and that's part of the whole program of dealing with health care, dealing with energy, dealing with education, so that the economy we have three or four years from now is a much more stable, much able to have a, a sound expansion. Dr. Romer, thank you very much for your views. Good luck with your work. Great.